guys, it's the Crypto Siege with another day in the life and the crazy life that is the digital asset space. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Happy Thursday to you. What an exciting time to be in the digital asset space, but guys, I got to tell you. Listen, this morning we're going to cover a couple of things. I got an article from Globe Newswire about the NASDAQ and their suite of products that they're providing for implementing, bringing it to the marketplace that involves, and, and actually some of it involves, a lot of it involves digital asset, tokenized assets, and cryptocurrencies. This is going to be a really, really good read for sure. Also gonna cover um, what I think is really something that's really pretty significant with TerraPay, and shout out to Raffle Conman for sharing that, Ripple partner TerraPay is uh, uh, partnered with Visa. Ripple partners TerraPay, partnered with Visa. So we're gonna cover that as well. Very, very interesting stuff. And again, Chris Larson, if you guys did not see that video, you wanna see the video at the interview with Chris Larson. I believe it's on the Ripple, official Ripple YouTube channel. You are going to gonna check that out. You're gonna to wanna to check that out. Really, really good stuff. All right guys, so listen, this is your XRP Ripple daily news in around zero to 10 minutes, let's do this. The NASDAQ launches the Marketplace Services platform. Okay, uh, the SAS platform purpose, the SaaS platform's purpose built to operate marketplaces everywhere. Platform also offering the digital assets suite to support the transaction life cycle of digital assets and tokenized markets. Guys, there's a new asset class being built right underneath the masses' nose, and they don't even know. A new asset class is being built. This is why I say to you guys all the time, this moment in your life should be a head up and shoulders back moment for you in your life. Because <laughs> you're an early adopter in an entirely new asset class. You hold assets that the masses are going to want to hold. You hold assets that hedge funds today want to hold. I'm telling you, it's pretty exciting. All right, so June 24, 2020, today the NASDAQ has announced the launch of the Marketplace Services Platform. The platform provides next generation marketplace capabilities spanning the transaction life cycle to facilitate the frictionless exchange of assets services and information across various types of market ecosystems and machine to machine machine to machine transaction including but not limited to standard financial assets tokenized assets credit card receivables loyalty points real estate insurance contracts gaming and wagering and more why do you think that is gaming and wagering, there's a couple of digital assets uh, platforms out there that provide both of those on the blockchain. Gaming, wagering, one of them has been around for a really long, long, long time. I could think of Funfair as a gaming, and I forget the other one that is, um, I can't remember another one, that is kind of, it, it allows you to kind of uh, bet against future stuff that might happen, future stuff, outside of gaming, inside of gaming, outside of gaming. I forget the name of that site as well. Guys, let me read this again. Platform also offering the digital assets suite to support the transaction life cycle of digital assets and tokenized markets. Why do you think the NASDAQ has a liquidity index for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP? Just because, just because we're not going in that direction, we're not going there. If you want to share with your friends, your boys, your dudes about where this uh, asset space is going, digital asset space is going, share this article from, from, the, from the NASDAQ. It's the NASDAQ, right? All right, so what else? The, the already established universal marketplace services, which includes matching, Risk management and market surveillance will, will be accessible on the platform. And we all know the NASDAQ serves Wall Street. 
amongst others, probably serve global markets as well, but it definitely serves Wall Street, guys. As the industry evolves and markets move to the next phase of digitalization, there is increased demand for seamless access to standard infrastructure components and capabilities, said Magnus Hagling, Senior Vice President, or Saglin, Hagland, whether I don't know if it's Hagling or Hagland, <laughs> Senior Vice President and Head of Product Management, Market Technology at NASDAQ. By creating a marketplace services platform, we are providing marketplaces cloud-based turnkey infrastructure components and a platform to plug and play as they build. Who adapt and expand their businesses. Do you see what's going on with the NASDAQ? Do you see, like those guys got the research, right? They got a team of researchers that looked into this asset class the digital asset space and said, is this the future or not? And if, come, if they come back and say, yeah, this is the future, we're moving into digital asset space. We are moving into a tokenized marketplace. Then the NASDAQ says, well, we are going to be the front runners. You see what I'm saying, guys? Wow. All right. So we're uh, a turnkey infrastructure. I read that. We see this potentially becoming the de facto operating motto for marketplaces worldwide. We are at an inflection point in the capital market, said Brad Bailey, the research director of Sealant or Sealant. <coughs> Building one's own technology stack from application to infrastructure without leveraging a platform with access to an ecosystem of partners for technology services, cloud is becoming more difficult to justify. The firms that win in this complex, challenging, and ultra-competitive time focus, uh, uh, time focus the bulk of their efforts on their core value proposition and partner or outsource the rest indeed i'm on the i'm on the outsource mode myself so complementing the rollout complementing the rollout out the marketplace okay complementing the rollout of the marketplace services platform nasdaq is now offering its digital assets Sweet. Remember I said on this channel, you know, main, mainstream media calls it virtual currencies, right? The masses that even have an idea what Bitcoin is call it cryptocurrencies. But the NASDAQ and the wealthy, they call it digital assets. Digital assets for a reason. The suite of services, which is both DLT agnostic and multi-cloud is designed specifically to support the transaction life cycle of digital assets and tokenized markets leveraging DLT technology to, to facilitate issuance of the asset through matching, custody, delivery, and payment. In addition, to the launch of the digital assets suite, NASDAQ is collaborating with Microsoft on designing solutions for next generation marketplaces. Don't forget about Ripple and Microsoft and that little partnership that they got going on. So the NASDAQ digital assets suite will also be accessible for marketplaces in Azure, A-Z-U-R-E. Very, very nice. I'm going to read one little paragraph and then I'm going to move on to the next thing because I really want to hear from the wrath of comment. This guy is bringing it on Twitter. By leveraging the API economy, the NASDAQ Marketplace Services Platform will also provide its customers greater choice and flexibility, easily integrating other providers and ISVs with improved interoperability for the entire ecosystem. 
NASDAQ is also working with digital asset. Then it's got a comma, so I don't know what digital asset is. I guess we'll have to look at that. R3 and Symbiont to deliver technology, technology through the marketplace services platform to meet the diverse needs and unique models of tokenized and digital assets marketplaces from cryptocurrency to real estate and other areas. Well, why did they say that? Because they understand that real estate is going to be tokenized and they realize that other areas in the marketplace are going to be tokenized. So again, guys, if you want to, you know, start talking to your boys, talking to your dudes, talking to your family members, find this article, let them read the article. Let them read the article, right? Use third party, let them read the article. All right, guys, let's go over to the wrath to comment with something that he shared that I thought was very interesting. It says Ripple partner TerraPay and MGI uh, has partnered with Visa to drive inclusive cashless banking and remittances in Kenya. With Visa noting interoperability is key to a digital connected payments ecosystem. That, my friend, is very, 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 very interesting. Very, very interesting. Let me see something here. Let's do this. I thought I pulled this up. Kenya, TerraPay, a Ripple partner, and Visa. The partnerships just continue and continue and continue. And we all know, we talk about the Ripple Net and its network effect, right? And we talk about you're not going to want to be that dude, right? You're not going to want to be that SME or that um, money transmitter operator like Visa that's on the outside of the Ripple Net looking in. All right, press release. Visa and TerraPay partner to drive real-time payments interoperability. Both companies will work together to drive real-time digital remittances, interoperability, financial inclusion, and drive adoption of cashless payments. This is from the Netherlands, June 24, 2020. TerraPay, a global payments infrastructure company, and Visa have today announced a strategic partnership that aims to develop and deliver payment solutions to drive financial inclusion and cashless transactions for domestic payments and global remittances. The TerraPay and Visa Global Partnership is aimed to develop and deliver solutions to drive repeat consumption of the mobile wallets and digital currency for digital payments and remittances. Wow. We at TerraPay view the Visa partnership as a next step towards the development of sustainable and scalable interoperable payment options for our partners and their consumers. Payment requirements, uh, for the consumer's payment requirements, said Amber Sir, founder and CEO of TerraPay. Wow, guys, do you see what's going on here? Visa, again, like, they got a team of researchers. Visa's like, what's going on with this digital asset space and these tokenized marketplaces? Is this the future or not? And team runs out and does their homework, right? Because they can hire, right? <laughs> These people. They came back and say, "Ah, uh, yeah, this is the future. Digital assets, tokenized marketplace, is the future." And Visa said, "Well, we're not going to be left behind. I cannot wait for Brad Garlinghouse and the people from Ripple to get into the acquisition mode, get into acquiring the acquiring mode." What is that going to look like, guys? What is flexing their muscles going to look like in this asset, in this new asset class that is the digital asset space? Is it going to be R3? I don't know. Is it going to be MoneyGram? I don't know. What are these acquisitions? What are, and what are they going to look like? And is it going to be before? It looks like it's probably going to be before the IPO. Wow. So anyway, I'm going to read just a little bit here more, guys. Um, we want our partners to remain focused on their customers' payments needs, and we assist them technology 
but we assist them technologically to develop uh, to deliver payment solutions in an agile, can't speak this morning, and an agile, reliable, and secure method to fulfill their customers' needs, said the founder and CEO of TerraPay, Amber Sir. <laughs> How about that? Ripple partner TerraPay, strategic partnership with the people from Visa. Interesting stuff. Global e commerce continues to evolve and is expected to reach four. 0.57 billion by 2023, according to Allied Market Research, up from 601 billion in 2016. 4,574 billion, I don't know. An interoperability uh, with payment methods and seamless consumer journey to conclude the transactions will be the key focus to drive consumption. The partnership is part of Visa's global strategy to open up Visa's network and support a broad range of players that are developing new commerce experiences and transitioning to digital channels. Partnerships are fundamental to Visa's business model and we look forward to collaborating with TerraPay to drive seamless and interoperable financial services and products to push much desired financial inclusion in our communities. How about that? said Otto Williams, Vice President and Head of Strategic Partnerships, uh, FinTech and Ventures in the CEMEA at Visa. Interoperability is key to a digitally connected payments ecosystem. And we are excited <coughs> that TerraPay is part of our growing FinTech fast track program <laughs> as we work together to, to, to connect more communities with these solutions. Again, guys, the, 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 the power of the ripple net and his network effect. Visa, through strategically partnering with a company, TerraPay, that is on the ripple net, gives them that access, allows them to tap into the power and the net of the network effect from the ripple net. It's a massive move, but guys, this is really, really great news. All right, guys, listen, I'm gonna wrap up this video like I do all of my videos and remind you guys of this. Old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather us remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in where we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man, are you participating? Or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know, that the battle for you has already been fought and the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. Bye.